<clears throat> hey Pedro. Hi, how are you? I am good on this wet day. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to work today in the wet? Yeah, I did. Oh, well, at least you were inside, right? Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Did it, did it storm at your house a minute ago? Yeah. Well, still there. Hopefully, it's still thundering here. Hopefully, it will not knock our internet out. But if it does, we'll finish next week, I guess. Okay. Uh, ho hopefully, <laughs> it will, hopefully, it will be nice and... and uh, not knock it out. Um, well, I thought 
somebody was coming in, but I, I guess not. All right, let me mark you here before I forget. Taylor is here. Did you do anything for spring break? Did you go anywhere? No. 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 <laughs> Just work, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No more money. No, hey, me either. <laughs> <laughs> you had you've had good vacations this year. You had a ski trip and and then then you flew out to where did you fly to? Colorado or somewhere? No, the uh, I can't remember either. <laughs> I remember you said uh, one night. Ohio, you said, Ohio. Maybe that's what it was. Ohio. Ohio. You went. You went somewhere. Yeah. I haven't been anywhere. But that's okay. <laughs> <sighs> I got my I got my last my second COVID shot today, so hopefully I'll be able to go somewhere now and not catch COVID. Or if I catch it, it won't be as bad. So, oh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So, all right. Let's see. I haven't heard. Well, I did hear from Sonia. Sonia texted me yesterday because okay. she hadn't been in on, or she hadn't been here in a couple of weeks. So she had lost the link to uh, YouTube for the classes. So she was going to go in and look at the uh -huh. videos and catch up. So maybe she'll be here in a minute. And I haven't heard from Norma. I don't know she's coming or not coming on or not uh, okay no huh. i don't see anybody okay maybe they'll be here in a minute <laughs> if not we'll go ahead and start so we can get finished we have Let's see, I added it up. We have six weeks left this year. Six weeks. Six weeks Almost. left. Then we meet with the people at Springfield Baptist Monday to see if we can come back there in August. Um, and what we have to do. I don't know if we'll have to wear a mask and we'll probably have to do the mask and the cleaning everything. So we're going to find that out Monday. So hopefully next no Thursday, I'll be able to tell y'all what we'll, what our plans are and when we'll start next year. So Because the church is opened the door. Yes, the church, church. Yeah, the yeah. church is opened up. They're going, they're having um, some of their Sunday school classes too in the room. So yeah, it has opened up. So hopefully they'll let us come in too. So I mean, Zoom is okay, but I, it's more fun when you're in. Did you got that ready, your COVID-19 shot? Yes, I got my second one today. Okay. Yeah, I'm not yet. You haven't got yours yet. I don't want it. I don't know. You don't I'm thinking it. about it. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> well, it <laughs> dropped down. Let's see. It was it yesterday or today? Uh, anybody 16 years old and up can get it. So you can oh, go really? get it anytime. Yeah. Well, you have to make an appointment. You call the that phone number at the health department and make an appointment. Or some of the drugstores have them. Uh, I think Walmart Pharmacy has them. Um, I don't know if CVS does or not. Southside Pharmacy does and Greenbrier Pharmacy. I know they have the COVID shot. So you can get them there, but you still have to call and get an appointment. <clears throat> so it's not bad. It didn't <laughs> hurt too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just like any old shot, it made my the first one made my arm real sore. Uh huh. This one hadn't got sore yet. 
but I just got it at 1.30 today. So it hadn't had time to get sore, I guess. <laughs> It'll be sore tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, no. You, you don't think you're going to get yours? No. Why? I don't know. You need to get one. They should only want it to us. They what? They should only want it to us. Oh. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know what I can believe. I, I I'm, don't I'm, really, know. I'm really confused. I know it's confusing to everybody. It's, yeah. it, it, it's confusing to me too. It's like, do you know with the next year or the future, we head to the, another shot because we had another 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 virus yeah another virus yeah so yeah these are really really virus or not um, but i um i know many many people dying but because the covid because the covid 19 mm -hmm. yeah but um, well it's it's such it's been so strange yeah. because it affects everybody differently everybody has yeah. different symptoms when they have it so i think that's what's so strange so i don't know i went out and took mine because i'll be 70 years old next month and i figure i wanted to stay around a little bit longer uh -huh. I didn't want to get COVID, so, but you can still get COVID even after you get the shot. It'll just keep you from getting it real bad and getting in the hospital. It'll just give you a light case of it. So, um, just because you've got the shot doesn't mean you won't get it. You still could get it. It just won't be as bad. So, I don't know if it's worth it or not. I, I don't know. I'll get it now while it's free. So <laughs> I don't want to have to pay for it. So. <laughs> uh, okay, I think about it next time. <laughs> well, it, everybody has to make their own decision. So whatever you decide. Yeah. Because we'll probably in the in August when we'll go back to school, hopefully in August. Uh, and We'll still have to do, even though we've had our COVID, some of us have had COVID shots, we'll still have to do mask and the hand yeah. sanitizer and all that. So, excuse me. Bless I, you. Don't get you. sick. Okay, you've got no. the COVID now. <laughs> no, I don't want to be sick. Don't catch the COVID. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah. Did, did any of your family have it? Did, uh, I think one, the, my uncle in Mexico. In Mexico, they did? Wow. Was it bad down there? Was it really, 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 really bad? bad? Oh, yeah. God. Mm. Yeah, I didn't hear much about Mexico or other countries. I heard, I heard about... Um, England and and uh, what was the other place? England and China. China, <laughs> yeah, China had it, but England had it really bad. Uh, my niece is living in England, and okay. uh, they were locked down for a long time. They they couldn't even go across the street, and they had police that went up and down the street all day. Oh really? Yeah. And if you got if you got out of your zone, they would give you a ticket and fine you, give you a fine. You'd have to pay the fine. So um yeah. They got to go to the grocery store once a week and only one person could go. So it was it was bad over there too. And Italy, that was the other place. Italy and uh, England were the two places that I heard were, that were really bad. <clears throat> but I didn't know how bad Mexico was. Yeah. 
there is uh -huh. um, many many people getting getting sick too it's a it's a bad disease but maybe it'll go away by next year <laughs> i don't know i don't know it may always be here okay i think we're gonna go ahead. let me see what time it is oh goodness oh we'll wait one more minute till it's 6 45 and then we'll we'll go ahead and start we're on page 138 whoops lesson 17. Let's sure I haven't got a message from anybody. Nope. No messages. The common word. You what? The common word. Yes. Okay, common word endings. These are words that have um, endings that are very common in words, like the L-E, the E-L, A-L, E-T, and I-C on the top line. And the bottom line has T-I-O-N, S-I-O-N, T-U-R-E, A-T-E, and I-S-H. And all of these are common words. Most of them I think we've had before. There may be one or two that you might not be familiar with, but I think for the most part, we've, we've had those. Um, but the first group of words end in L-E and it is chuckle. Chuckle. Uncle. Uncle. Jungle, jungle, knuckle, knuckle, and tumble, Tum tumble. All of those. Do you know what they are? Do we need to do definitions for any of those? Uh, tumble. Mm. Tumble is like when you fall and roll over and over and over. Uh, that's a tumble. Okay. And uh, uh, how about chuckle? Chuckle is a laugh, to laugh. A laugh? Okay. A laugh. Like when you laugh, some people will say, oh, you, that's a chuckle or a little laugh. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And yeah, knuckle. Knuckle is this. These are knuckles. Okay. The, the joints in your uh, fingers. Have you heard this? The um, it's kind of an idiom uh, that says, "I'll give you a knuckle sandwich," meaning I'll hit you in the mouth. <laughs> and when I hit you in the mouth, that's your knuckle sandwich. So, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Next group is E L. And it's channel, channel, flannel, flannel, funnel, funnel, tunnel, tunnel, and parcel. Parcel. Mm -hmm. Any of those we need a definition? Uh, parcel. A parcel is like a. Um, a uh, box or package that you receive in the mail is called a parcel. I don't know why. I don't know why they just don't call it a box, but it's called a parcel. Uh, something you receive in the mail, like a box or a package. Anything other than a letter? Uh, no. No. Just parcel. Okay. All right, the next group is AL. The words are total, total, formal, formal, handle, handle, 
Scandal. Scandal. Final. Final. Any of those? We need a definition. Mm, no, no fine. Okay. All right. The next group has ending of ET. The words are faucet. Faucet. Bucket. Bucket. Bullet. Bullet. Hornet. Hornet. Rocket. Rocket. Okay. Any of those? We need a definition. Faucet. Mm -hmm. Which one? The first one. Faucet. The first one. Faucet. Faucet is like uh, the hot and cold uh, things that you turn on the hot and cold water. That when you go to wash your hands, you reach up and turn on the faucet, and the water comes out. So it's the the things that you turn to turn the hot and cold water on, called a faucet. Okay, the, the, the little bowl, the little bowl. Yeah, the little handle thing that you the turn handle? the, you reach up and turn the hot water on. Okay. That's a faucet. And the, then the water comes out, water comes out the faucet. So all of that is called the faucet. Okay, got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And next group is I see. First word is picnic. Picnic. Traffic. Traffic. Clinic. Clinic. Public. Public. And music. Music. Mm -hmm. Any of those? I got everything. All right. Good deal. <laughs> All right. Second, uh, second layer there. Second line. Um, first group is T I O N. First word is station. Station. Nation. Nation. Lotion. Lotion. Motion. Ocean. Emotion, emotion, and section, section. Okay. Any of those need a definition? Mm, nope. No, fine. All right. The next group ends in S I O N. It's pronounced just like the T I O N and the S I O N are pronounced the same. <clears throat> uh, first word is expression. Expression. Mission. Mission. Permission. Permission. Admission. Admission. Tension. Tension. And vision. Vision. Any of those? No, fine. Okay. All right, the next group is ending in T-U-R-E. First word is culture. Culture. Capture. Capture. Fracture. Fracture. Lecture. Lecture. Structure. Structure. Preacher. Preacher. Any of those need a definition? No, mm, fine. Okay. Next group ends in A-T-E. First word, chocolate. Chocolate. My favorite word, my favorite word. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't love chocolate. Uh, private. Private. Pirate. Pi pirate. Pirate. Mm-hmm. Climate. Climate. Delicate. Delicate. Any of those? Mm, oh, no. I got them. Okay. Next group is I-S-H. First word is selfish. Selfish. Irish. Irish. Punish. 
Vanish. 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 And finish. Finish. Okay. Any of those words need a definition? <laughs> no, I got it. All right. Good, because the next thing we're going to do is on page 139, the word meanings, which are mm -hmm. definitions. You're going to match them up. And I think all of them are the words that we just went over, I believe. So I'll give you, have you done those or do you need a couple of minutes to do them? I'm finished. You're finished. All right. <laughs> okay. Very I'm good. Sorry. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's good. <clears throat> it's good when you do that because it makes things go faster. <clears throat> okay, number one, a feeling of stress and strain is? Tension. Tension. Very good. Number two, you want to do number two? Le lecture is a formal tag given to a person, group, or class. Very good. Uh, funnel, funnel, a a a hollow cone with a tube standing from the smaller end for directing the downward flow of water, etc. Yes, very good. Uh, harness, a large insect that stings. Yes, yes. Uh, sandal, a light slipper or low cut shoe with a strap or straps. Yes. Flannel uh, is a soft cloth made of wool, wool or a blend of wool and cotton. Yes. Scandal, an act that brings about disgrace or really upset the public. Yes. Uh, knuckle, any joint of the finger. Yes. And nation, another word for country. Yes, that is correct. Uh, delicate, delicate is a uh, frail, soft, or gentle in touch and skill. Yes, let me let Sonia in here. Uh, what does that mean, frail? Frail? Yeah. Frail, <laughs> frail is delicate. <laughs> frail. <laughs> Frail is um, like you look sickly or you're um, okay. Okay. Yeah, just kind of tiny and um, very, very, very soft. Yes, yes. Frail is like if we talk about a person being frail, they usually look sick or they're um, they're little and skinny and look like they're gonna pass out. Mm -hmm. They just they just look real frail. They don't look real healthy. Be the opposite of healthy. If you okay. look look healthy and had rosy cheeks and all that, that would be healthy. Frail would be thin and 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 no rosy cheeks, kind of pale complexion. So okay. Hi Sonia. Hi. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Hang on just a second. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm doing Zoom. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. That was my daughter. I wouldn't answer that, but with all the storms going on, I thought maybe she had an emergency. So <laughs> that was Miss Amy. Well, Sonia disappeared. <laughs> I come back. I'm, look, I'm looking for how we say. Um, oh my god, I forgot the name. <laughs> pencil. Yeah, pencil, but it's like pencil. the finger, like <laughs> the, the sharper. Yeah, sharpener. <laughs> oh, you need a pencil sharpener. Oh, okay. Yeah, sharper. See, yeah. I, I use these mechanical pencils where all you do is just punch the top <laughs> and the lid comes yeah, out. I'm used to it, but I don't have more. You don't have any more? <laughs> no, look. 
And I'm supposed got to be prepared, but I'm not prepared today. <laughs> That's okay. We'll wait a minute for you. Yeah, I'm fine right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh okay. God. We've we've gone fast. Pedro had all of his filled out. So we've gone about halfway through the the definitions already. Um, okay. Page 139. 139. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, word meanings. Word meanings, okay. Do you have those or do you need a minute to look over them? Mm, I feel you know, I don't, I didn't, but I, I think. I think I have it, but I don't know. I need to find the in the with the sentence. <laughs> where did we get to, Pedro? I done forgot. Delicate, right? There were ten. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and finish, and then we'll back up and um and let and, and uh, help Sonia with the top few. You want to go ahead, Pedro, and do 12, oh uh, no, what, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15? Okay. Private, private, private? Private. Private, I uh, mean, no, not public. Right. But mm -hmm. that, no one who robs a sea without the permission of, of his country. Yes. Uh, climate, the weather condition of an area over a long period of time. Right. Punish, I hurt someone for doing something wrong. Okay. Banish, to pass out of existence, to fade or decay to nothing. Okay. I don't know why they didn't use the definition disappear, because if you vanish, you disappear. Disappear. Yeah, that can be a that can be a uh, definition of vanish also. Okay, did you get those, Sonia? Did we go too fast? No, I'm <laughs> fine. Okay. All right, back up to the top. A feeling of stress and strain. A feeling of, of stress or, or and strain, like a tension. No, yes, tension. tension. That is correct. Yes. Okay. And number two, a formal talk given to a person, group, or class. Mm. Lecture? Lecture, yes. Number three, a hollow cone with a tube extending from the smaller end for directing the downward flow of water, sand, etc. Funnel? Funnel, yes. I always think of funnel when you're changing your oil, and sometimes you have to use a funnel to pour the oil back in your car and that oil thing, whatever you call that. I don't know what you call it. The thing <laughs> that holds the oil <laughs> in the car. <laughs> uh, I always think of funnel for doing that. Okay, number four, a large insect that stings. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing because my my boy always said the, the name, but I don't know the right name. How to say? <laughs> my daughter, my boy say stinky, stinky <laughs> bug. <laughs> A stinky stink bug. <laughs> 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 yeah i don't know if they sting or not but they sting <laughs> i don't know if they sting you i've not picked up one i'm not going to either <laughs> think about this is a stinky bag i don't know maybe snuckle i don't know uh no hornet no. it's a hornet hornet oh i didn't hornet, know uh -huh. hornet looks like a wasp oh okay yeah, it, it's kind of like a big red wasp, um, and it they do sting. They'll they sting and hurt bad. Mm, okay. Okay. Number five, a light slipper or low cut shoe with strap or straps. A light slipper or low cut shoe with or strap. Sandal. Yes. Yes. A sandal. Number six, mm. a soft cloth made of wool or a blend of wool and cotton. Flannel. Flannel. Yes. Flannel pajamas for wintertime mm -hmm. sleeping. Keep you warm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number seven, mm. an act that brings about great disgrace or really upsets the public disgrace mm. a scandal scandal yes that is correct <clears throat> number eight is any joint of a finger Mm. It's knuckle. 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 Yeah. No, it's, it's, not, it's only knuckle. Is the K no. like? Yeah, it's called. It's pronounced knuckle. knuckle. Like the K wasn't even there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just like knuckle. You pronounce the N part. Yeah. It's like the 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 joints of your hand. And it's like I told uh, Pedro, there's an idiom that says, if you're mad at somebody and you're going to hit them, say, I'm going to give you a knuckle sandwich. means you're going to hit them in the mouth. I <laughs> like go oh, into there. Okay. Yeah, I give them a knuckle sandwich. So, okay. Well, you can remember that. <laughs> knuckle. Okay. Knuckle. I'm, I'm knuckle. not hungry. All right. <laughs> knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <I'm not hungry>. <laughs> <laughs> So if somebody tells you you're gonna, they're gonna give you a knuckle sandwich, you better run real oh, fast in the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number nine, another word for country. Nation. Nation, yes. And number ten, frail, soft, or gentle in touch and skill. Mm. Frail, soft, or gentle in touch and skill. Delicate. Delicate, yes, that is correct. Very good. Y'all are getting good at these definitions. I'm <laughs> proud of y'all. You are really doing good at definitions. <laughs> okay. All right, and all of these words come from the words, and we won't go over and pronounce them again uh, on that pay, previous page on 138. They're just words that have uh, common words endings, like the L-E, the E-L, A-L, the E-T, I-E. Uh, I see. I mean, I see. I'm sorry. I can't read. Uh, <laughs> T I O N S I O N T U R E A T E, my favorite word, chocolate, and I S H. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Our story is on page 140 and 141. 
And I don't know why all of a sudden this book likes fighting, but it's another fighting story. Another fighting. Okay. Yes, another one. So I think that's about the third one we've had about fighting. Yeah. So. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the, the words for our study words at the top of the page are Rocco. Rocco. Rocco is the uh, boy's name in the story, a man's name in the story. Or he starts out as a boy and, and uh, ends up as a uh, man. And next word is recess. Recess. And Lily. 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 That's the girl's name in the story. And promoter. Promoter. Uh huh. Solly. 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 And Solly is the name of the another fighter, I believe that's his name. And career. 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 And garden. 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 Mm -hmm. And aisle. 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 Sharpened. 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 Like Sonia sharpened her pencil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next word is skitter. Skitter. Theater. Next is whooped. Whooped. Mm -hmm. And relief. Relief. Mm -hmm. Okay, and all these words we'll find in the story. So as we find a word, um, uh, underline it. Uh, if you still don't know the definition after we've read the story, sometimes when you read the story, you can decide the definition in just how uh, the word is used in the sentence. So we'll read the story and then uh, if we need to, we'll go back and do some definitions on these. <clears throat> okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. Um, Sonia, if you'll read the first four, oh, let's see, let's go for Five, six, one, two. Wow, it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Read the first four paragraphs. Okay. That will be down to the last paragraph. And then uh, let's see. Pedro, if you'll read. The next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're a little bit smaller paragraphs. Down to uh, the second column, the great strength of a fighting man. If you'll read those, um, and then we'll then I'll split up the others. And you okay. can read those. Okay. All right. Okay. He swung and miss. It was Miss Beach who argued Rocco in his 15th year out of eighth grade and into the war. She had watched him fighting at recess times from his six years on. In his yearbook on afternoon of his last day in school, she wrote, Trust, trusting that Rocco will make good. Rocco did make good in his own way. He stepped from the schoolroom into the ring back of the happy hour bar. He fought though the middle, middle weight and mm -hmm. into the light, the light, Heavis, mm -hmm. while his forces increase to as much as sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. When he was nineteen, he stopped growing. He his forces stopped growing, and he mar married 
a girl called Lily. He didn't win everyone after that. And by the time he was 22, he was losing as often as he won. He fought on, it was all he could do. He never took a dive, he never had a setup or a soft touch. He stayed away from whiskey, he never grumbled. He went to bed early before every, before every boat and he loved his wife. He fought in a hundred corners of city under a half dozen managers and he fought every man he was asked to. At any hour, he never ran out on a fight and he was never put down for a 10 count. He took beatings from the best in the businesses, but he never stayed down for 10. At the end, which at the end, which came when he was 29, all he had left was his grow and his record of never having stayed down for 10. He went six weeks without earning uh, a dime before he understood that he could have to give up 18 boxes or Lily. When he found her wearing a pair of his old tennis shoes about the house in order to save the heels on her one good pair of shoes. He made up his mind. Okay, okay, bro. Okay. Uh, where I'm, I'm going to stop? You're going to stop on the second column uh, where it's the, the great strength of a fighting man. The, the last sentence you'll read is no use making it look too bad. Okay. And next to the last paragraph. Okay. Maybe Rocco wasn't all that smart, but he wasn't punchy either. Just because there was a tent in his face from former quotes and bigger dents in his wallet. It didn't tell that his brain was dense. It wasn't. He knew that the score was, and he loved his girl. So when Uncle Mike, a promoter, told Rocco that he had a 20 years old name, solid, that, that he was bringing alone under the building of key class, Rocco agreed to take a dive. After making his agreement, he left the gym with the biggest burst of his career. And it was the first boat had gotten in advance for 20s and 210s. He gave Lily every dime of that money. When he handed it over, he knew he was only doing the right thing for her. He had earned the ring to sell out and he had sold. The ring owned him more than a C note. He reflected as he added a lowly for Lily's shake. I'll stop the bomb dead in his tracks. They were both happy that night. Rocco had never been happier since leaving school. He's earning her all the way to the city gardens, the nights of the fight, but it let up a bit in the dressing room under the stands. At he started down the literate aisle and saw the lights of the ring. The pain sharpened on once more. He felt the rope being taken from his shoulders. 
and suddenly in that what short moment before the bell, he felt more tired than he never had in a room before. He went out in a half crunch and someone called out, cut it down, Sully. He backed to make the ball lit, lit and then came in long enough to flick his left right into the teeth and the way. The obliged whooped senses love. He'd give them their money's worth for a few rounds. Anyhow, no use making look too bad. Okay. Dick, okay. All right, let's stop there a minute. Let's look and see what's happened so far. Um, Ms. Beach, Miss or Miss Beach was his teacher, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And she saw him when he was 15 and uh, about to leave eighth grade. Um, she watched him uh, from the sixth grade to the eighth grade. She watched him do what, what on, the re on the playground at recess. What did he do at recess? fighting fighting she had watched him fighting the other boys at recess uh every afternoon so at the at the end of the school year she wrote in his book trusting that Rocco will make good mm -hmm. okay all right so Rocco did make good didn't he what did he he stepped from the school room into the what the happy hour bar <laughs> All right, the happy hour bar where they had a boxing ring. And the, 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 the ring is that, square. I don't know why they call it a ring because it's a square um, uh, the, that the boxers get in and fight. That's what it, uh, it's talking about from the school room into the ring back of the happy hour bar. So he got to get in the boxing ring and started boxing people. He boxed middleweights, and I don't know if you know anything about boxing. Do you know anything about boxing? Okay. No, not much. I don't either. Not much. But I do know that there's different classes, like you uh, you might be a middleweight, which is a, a certain weight. Maybe they weigh from 150 to 170. That would be a middleweight class. And then some of the light heavies would be, say, the 170 to 180. Um, so there's different classes depending on how much you weigh. Okay. Um, so he fought the middleweights and into the light heavies. And then it talks about his purses. What does that mean? Do you know? Mm, it no. says his purses increased to as much as $60. The wallet? All right, okay, it's sort of his wallet. The purses meant what he got paid for each fight. The money that he got paid <clears throat> for each fight was called a purse. Okay. So his purses increased or the money that he got paid increased um, uh, to as much as $60 for just getting in and fighting somebody. <clears throat> but when he was 19, he stopped growing and his purses stopped growing, meaning he didn't make as much money. Why? Okay. Because he met a girl named Lily and he married Lily because uh, he fell in love with Lily. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it talks about he didn't win every uh, one after that. Uh, he won some and lost some, um, but he stayed um, uh he never took a dive, which it meant they never knocked him out on, and he would fall on the floor. That would be taking a dive. Uh, so they never knocked him out. He never took a dive. Uh, he never had a setup or a soft touch. Now, I don't know what that is in boxing. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so we'll just we'll just forget that sentence. Uh, all right, he stayed away from whiskey. He didn't gamble. He went to bed early. Um, in this sentence, he said he went to bed early before every bout. What's a bout? Mm -hmm. Fighting. Huh? Fighting. Okay, it is. It it's it it is the, the actual fight. Uh, it's called a bout. Uh, it, they might say, "I'm gonna have a bout with." What was that other kid's name? Kid class. I'm going to have a bout with kid class. I mean, I'm going to have a fight with him. So it basically means a fight. Um, he fought everywhere. Um, uh, he never ran out on a fight. Uh, they never, uh, you know, when they, when they knock them out and they, if they don't get up, when they count to 10, then. Mm hmm there the other one automatically wins and it says he was never put down for a 10 count um he took beatings from the best in the business and he never stayed down for 10 so they never counted he always popped up before they got to 10 and started fighting again okay so then it uh, comes to the end and he turns 29 and all he had left was his girl and his record of having never stayed down for 10. He went how many weeks without earning any money? Six. Six weeks and he didn't earn any money. And he kind of had a uh, wake up call or he kind of had um, uh, a thought when he found his wife. He knew he was gonna have to choose between boxing or his wife. Because what did he see? He found her what? A pair of his old tennis shoes. Right. She was wearing a pair of his old tennis shoes about the house to save her heels. Because she mm -hmm. only had one good pair of shoes. So she was wearing his old tennis shoes. And that made his mind up. He was going to have to uh, do something about that. Um. Then uh, it talks about um, he wasn't too, uh, he wasn't all that smart, but, but he was not stupid either. So he knew what the score was and he loved his girl. He loved Lily. So that was the choice he was going to make. So then his promoter, whose name was what? Mike. Okay, Uncle Mike was a promoter. And he told Rocco that he had a, a new kid, a new uh, fighter, um, that uh, his name was Solly, but he was going to fight under the name of Kid Class. You know, they always have a, a, a funny name that they, they fight under. Um, if, if you watch wrestling or something like that, they've all got stage names or um, different names that they fight under. Okay. Okay. And then um, the uh, Rocco agreed to take a dive, which meant he agreed to lose the match. After making this agreement, he left the gym with the biggest purse of his career. What was in his purse? Or how much money was he going to make on this fight? And he got it in advance. Four twenties and two tens, he says. Okay. Four twenties and two tens, which was a hundred bucks, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Four twenties okay. and two so Yeah, was getting, hundred bucks. Uh, yeah, he was getting a hundred dollars for this. And he'd only been getting 60. So he was getting a hundred dollars for this. So what did he do with that hundred dollars? Four twenties and two tens. <laughs> what? Four twenties and two tens. Okay, he gave, he gave it all to Lily. Um, mm -hmm. Every every penny of it he gave to Lily. Um, and he, he thought that was the right thing oh. to do. So Perfect. he had earned the right to sell out and he had sold. He had fought all these years and he, he had sold out. He was going to get out of the wrestling. This would be his last wrestling match. Um, and the... Um, 
But then when he got ready to walk out, he he shouted what? For Lily's sake. I'll stop the bum dead in his tracks. So he made that statement. I'll stop the bum dead in his tracks, trying to, to make Lily proud of him. Mm -hmm. And they both were happy that night. He'd never been happier since leaving school. Uh, what did it say? He had a headache and, and on the way to the, the city gardens. And that's where they fought. That was the name of the place, city gardens. Um, he had a headache. He, he felt a little better. But then when he got ready to go down the aisle out to the rink, his head started hurting again. Then he felt the robe come, they were taking the, you know, when they're fighting, they had this big robe on. And so they took his robe off and, mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> and in that short minute before the bell rang, he felt more tired than he'd ever felt in his life. He just felt drained. He was so tired. So he went out kind of half crouched down and, and someone called, cut him down, Solly. So they were calling for Solly, the new kid to wipe him out to wipe out Rocco okay right? so he went back uh to to make the boy lead and this this is talking about the fight uh he backed to make the boy lead which the new kid he wanted him to uh um do some boxing and then came long enough to flick his left twice so he hit him twice with his left left fist and um said he skittered away so, and skitter was one of our words at the top skitter was kind of moved away quickly like hurriedly moved away uh, <clears throat> and the bleachers whooped whooped just like they started cheering and hooping and hollering and and uh, cheering them on because they were sensing blood. They wanted to see somebody's blood splatter everywhere. I don't think that would be very much fun to watch, but some people <laughs> like that. <laughs> so he said he'd give them their money's worth for a few rounds anyhow. Not make, no make, no use making it look too bad. So he thought, well, he's not gonna fall down in the first round. He's gonna <laughs> fight this guy for several, rounds or several bouts all right let's see what happens in the last part let's see one two three four okay sonia read from that next paragraph down to the bottom of the first column and then pedro you read all the second column on the next page okay okay The great trait of fighting men is his pride. That was Rocco's trait in the rounds that follow. The boy called Kid Class couldn't keep him down between the seven and eight round. Uncle Mike climbed into the ring beside John Rocco. He said nothing, just stood there looking down he told Rocco may have forgotten he had for change to stay down and he hadn't take one. Rocco looked up, I'm clear as a bell. He told, he told Uncle Mike he hadn't forget a thing. It was until the 10th round that Rocco realized he wanted to knock the boy out He'd been short-chained since, since he, fe he left school. Let them be on the shore end tonight. She had the hundred. He get a job and forget every one of them. He and like he 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 starts. As a fighting man, Rocco pulled the boy into the rocks and fell the boy face side sideways. Then Rocco catch him in the short ribs with his leg. Solid managed 
ma manage some how to hook his right heart to the bottom. Then the left, Rocco's mouthpieces went spinning. Kid class came up fast behind him and threw the left under the armpit. Rocco went forward on the ropes and just hugged there. He came to in the locker room. Uncle Mike was somewhere near, telling him he had done fine and then he was alone. He rose and dressed slowly, feeling a long reveal that he'd come to the end. He'd done in the hard way, but he done it. He was fixing his tie when Lily nodded. He called to her to come in. She tested the tape over his right eye shy, shyly, fearing to hurt him with her touch, but wanted to be sure it wasn't loose. She was crying. I'm okay, he said. There is nothing wrong, honey. Then Rocco saw it wasn't that after all. You told me you'd win, Lily told him. I got eight to one and put the whole damn bank roll on you. I want to surprise you, and now we ain't got a crying down. Dime. Rogan didn't blow up. He just felt a little sick. Sicker than he had ever felt in his life. He studied, he studied her from foot to head. His eyes didn't rest on her face. They went back to her one good pair of shoes. You got good odds, honey, he told her joyfully. You don't just write. We made them sweet all night for the money. Then he looked up and grinned, a white, white grin. That, that was Rocco. He always did it the hard way, but he did it. Miss Beach would have been proud. Hey. So let's see what's happened in the second part. In the second part, it talks about um, the, his great strength was in, in his pride. He was proud of what he did. Uh, and he took pride in, in his fighting. Uh, and that was Rocco's strength in the rounds that followed. Uh, this boy called Kid Class, he, he couldn't put him down. So... Uh, Uncle Mike, who he had made the agreement with, he would take the fall or take the dive, thought, mm, he's not taking the dive, so I better get in there and talk to him. So Uncle Mike climbed into the ring between the seventh and eighth round, and uh, he said, he didn't say anything, he just stood there looking down, and he thought Rocco might have forgotten what he was supposed to do. Uh, he'd had four chances to stay down, and he hadn't taken any of them. Uh, he popped back up and kept fighting. And Rocco just looked at him, and he said, I'm clear as a bell. And he hadn't forgotten anything. He hadn't forgotten his agreement. Uh, it wasn't until that 10th round that Rocco realized that he wanted to knock the boy out. He done had enough. He really thought, now I'm going to knock him, him out. He'd been shortchanged since he left school, uh, meaning he hadn't earned a lot of money. Some fights he learned earned money and some he didn't. Um, let them be on the short end tonight. He said, Lily has the $100 and he'd get a job after they were through and forget every one of them. He'd end like he started as a fighting man. 
he was still going to stop fighting tonight, but he really thought now he wanted to win the, the, the uh, uh, fight. Rocco bulled the boy up to the ropes and felt the boy fade sideways. So he thought, oh boy, I got him now. Uh, <laughs> then Rocco caught him in the short, what, short ribs with his left. So he hit him in the, in the ribs with his left knuckles. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, um, anyway, then Rocco caught him. Uh, oh, I did that. Solly managed somehow to hook his right hand to the button. Now, I'm thinking their button is talking the belly button. So mm -hmm. he must have hit him with his right hand right into the belly button. So I'm sure that probably didn't feel very good. Then the left, he hit him with this right, he hit him with this left hand or fist. Rocco's mouthpiece went spinning. So it knocked him so hard that it knocked his mouthpiece out of his mouth and it went flying out into the air. Then kid class came up fast behind him and threw the left under his armpit. So he hit him under the armpit with his left fist. Then Rocco went forward on the ropes and just hung there. He was knocked out. Because the next paragraph says he came to in the locker or he, he, he regained consciousness in the locker room. And Uncle Mike was there telling me he'd done a fine thing. And then he was all by himself. Mm -hmm. Uncle Mike left. He got up and he dressed and feeling a long relief that he'd come to the end. He knew this mm -hmm. was the end of his boxing career and he was, he was satisfied. Uh, he'd done it the hard way, but he had done it. Um, he was fixing his tie and Lily came in she, or she knocked on the door and she came in and she was crying. Uh, but she was, she was, checked the, the had, had some tape up above his eyes. So she checked the tape to be sure it was on there good. And, and uh, uh, he thought that she was crying because he was hurt. And she says, no, that's not why I'm crying. I took all the money that you gave me and I went and I bet it on the fight. The odds were eight to, was it eight to one? Yeah, eight to mm -hmm. one. And she bet all the money they had the whole hundred dollars she betted on the fight because remember back as they got there, he told her, what was the words he said? Um, I'll stop the bum dead in his tracks. And that's what she remembered. And she thought, oh, he's going to beat him. I, I, I'm, I'm going to bet all the money on my, my husband and we're going to be rich. But that didn't happen, didn't he threw the fight. Well, he really didn't throw the fight. He was mm -hmm. going to throw the fight, but he got knocked out anyway. Uh, but Rocco didn't blow up. He didn't get upset with her. He felt a little sick that he'd lost $100. Uh, but he looked at Lily. He looked from head to toe, and his eyes ended on her good pair of shoes. She had her one good pair of shoes on that she had wore to the fight. And uh, he told her, said, you got good odds, honey. You done just right. We made them sweat for all the money they got tonight. So the people that won the money, they got, they got, they had to sweat thinking that um, uh, Rocco was going to be the one that won. Um, and so then he looked up and he grinned. That was Rocco. He always did it the hard way, but he did it. Miss Beach would have been proud of him. And he was, he had made the right choice. He made the right choice of his wife. Uh, he had made that choice before that he wanted, uh, he had to give up boxing or had to give up his wife. So he knew he had made the right choice and that they would be okay. All right. That's a pretty good story. Any other words that um, we didn't talk about? Mm. We did skitter. Mm -hmm. That was when he skittered away after he hit him and that was to get away quickly and whooped and hollered that was when they were cheering him on any of those other words that you need a definition for no okay all right all right <laughs> turn the page 150 140 let me see what time it is oh it's just a quarter to eight we got plenty of time we're going to get finished on this one, I think. All right, turn the page to 142. 
We've got some questions about the story. And we're going to talk about those together. I won't, I won't give you, uh, you can look back at the story, but I won't give you time to do it. We'll just talk about them. The first question is why does Uncle Mike enter the ring during Rocco's bout with kid class? Why did Uncle Mike enter the ring when he was fighting kid class? Hmm. Just so looking down. Just okay, stood there looking down. Right. And he told Rock on my head for getting. Right. Right. He thought Rocco had forgot to do the dive, to take the dive, didn't he? Uh, so he just, he got in the ring and he just stood there and looked at him like, duh, you're supposed to be taking a dive. You're not <laughs> supposed to be winning the match. So, okay. Number two. You, did did you think anything different, Sonia? No. I no. Think that, okay. All right. Number two, Lily's shoes are mentioned twice in the story. Explain how, in each case, the shoes helped Rocco make up his mind about something. The first time they were mentioned was when. Mm. Mm -mm. It's on page 40, the one, two, three, fourth paragraph. Mm -hmm. And then we began thinking more on the head that was in your his record of never having started on the team. He can When he found her wearing a pair of his old tennis shoes alone, the horse Lord said he made his uh, because he made up his mind. Right when he saw her wearing the tennis shoe, his old tennis shoes to save his her good pair of shoes. That's when he made up his mind, wasn't it? Yes. Um, because he knew that there was no money right before that. He had talked about some weeks he made money and some weeks he didn't, but they didn't have any money for her to buy new shoes. So she was having to wear his old tennis shoes to save her good shoes. When was the second time her shoes were mentioned? Um. Mm, when she, when when she uh she lost the money uh-huh uh-huh when she lost the money and told him that he didn't blow up he just looked at her from head to toe and he saw the shoes the the good shoes that she was wearing uh and he knew he had made the right decision because he loved her and 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 she, he knew that she loved him because she had worn the the good shoes she had worn his old shoes to save her good shoes to wear so that he would be proud of her um so um and that was the second yeah that was the second time um that they were mentioned okay number three what do you think of lily be sure to include some details to back up what you think what do you think of Lily, his girlfriend and and, and wife? There's no right or wrong answer on this one, so. Was she good, bad? Hmm. She she think very well, but not uh she don't know that if the, her husband lost or win. Okay. Okay. Because only she want to increase her money. 
Yeah, she was. <laughs> she was. She was scared he was going to be mad because she lost all that money. But <laughs> yeah. and she was. She was trying to make money for them. Um, mm -hmm. She was. She was doing the right thing. Uh, she did try to make money for him. She didn't know that he'd made an agreement to lose. So. Um, And I, I guess she she loved it, must have loved him a lot enough to wear his old tennis shoes around the house to save her other shoes. So <laughs> anything else about Lily? I think he loves uh, Rocco. <laughs> I think so too. Um, well, and she must have been worried about him because even though she's crying because she lost the money, when she came in, she checked his his wound where they had put the tape up there to be sure it was on good. And so she was she was worried about him, wasn't she? So she must have cared for him. <laughs> okay. Now here's another thoughtful. And on number four, how does the way in which Rocco loses the bout with kid class give the story a happy ending? Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of a thought question. It's not really a right or wrong answer. Uh, how does the way in which Rocco loses the bout with kid class give the story a happy ending? If, if you'll remember back, he said he was going to take the, the fall, the dive, right? But he didn't have to, did he? The, the kid class really beat him. I mean, mm -hmm. He hit him in the, in the, what was it? The button, this was there, the belly button. The belly and button. Hit him in the, <laughs> Then under the arm and in the ribs. So he truly lost to this guy. He fought a good fight, uh, but he he did lose. The guy beat him and knocked him out, and he didn't have to take the dive. Um, and I I thought you know, he started his career with no money, and he ended with no money. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's a happy ending. I mean. He didn't have anything to lose. I mean, he and and he he ended up with his true love, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was, I guess, the best happy ending. He still had Lily. So even though he didn't have boxing he lost the fight. Anymore, <laughs> yeah, he lost the fight, but he still had Lily. So <laughs> that's what I put. That's what I thought. I guess the happy ending was. He and Lily were still together. They 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 had each other. Um, okay, here's another thought question. Number five. Why do you suppose the author says at the end of the story that Miss Beach would have been proud of Rocco? Probably she did. Oh, she, she did what? <laughs> Probably she did. Was she there? No, that. That. A time. She died? Okay, I'm lost. Wait a minute. Yeah, probably she died. She She's not there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think maybe uh, Rocco let 
learn his lesson because not always win. <laughs> okay, you don't always have to win, right? That yeah. And and she had what was it? She wrote in his book, trusting that yeah. Rocco will make good. good. Uh huh. And he did make good choices, didn't he? He chose Lily. I mean, mm -hmm. he was he was choosing Lily over the fighting. That's what he had decided he would choose. So um, he did make good choices. So I guess he did make good. And he lost the fight fair and square. I mean, the guy beat him. He didn't have to take a dive. So he lost the, the fight fair and square. So he could still have pride in what he did. He could still be proud of what he did because uh, he fought the best he could could fight but the guy beat him so he was bet the other guy was better okay number six how do you think the author feels about Rocco how do you think the author feels about Rocco say at least one example to me back up what do you think mm. let's try it I don't, I don't <laughs> understand what this one means, really, honestly. <laughs> How do you think the author feels about Rocco? Hmm. I don't know. What do y'all think? I don't know. <laughs> How do you think the author feels about Rocco? Probably he, he, he writing about him. He's writing about him. About him, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you think he feels about him? Uh, did he like him? Did he not like him? Why did he write about him? No. You think it had something to do with pride? Showing people to be proud of what they do? Maybe. Probably. He, he, he was, Rocco was a proud person. He was proud of what he did and what his accomplishments were. Um, he was proud of Lily. Uh, maybe that's what it was. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all have to answer this one on your own because I don't know. <laughs> that's that's one of those thought questions. I think in 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 these stories we get more of those thought questions than we get just the answer yes or no or multiple choice. So, and sometimes you have to read the story a couple of times to get the meaning. Uh, sometimes when you read something through the first time, it's you get the story, but you don't really get the meaning. If you read it the second time, it means just a little bit more. Um, you understand what's going on in the story. So sometimes read the story over twice. Uh, see mm -hmm. if that helps. Yeah, because I read it last time, they are, I don't understand nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, nothing. I'm nothing. with I you. I did the same I thing. I, I can I can follow the the lecture because I don't know what it's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I was the same way. The first time I read it, I thought, oh, I don't understand this. Yeah, so when, I had to when, go. I, when I when I turned back my page and uh, I saw the question, I said, Oh my god, I don't understand nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's the reason I don't hear nothing uh, answer. <laughs> well, sometimes it's it's good to read it through that first time and then go back and read it that second time and really understand yeah. what I'm talking about. Um, I'm, I'm not a good reader. I don't like to, and I wish I was a better reader. I don't like to read big books or anything. Now, I don't mind reading short stories like this because they're kind of short and you can go back and reread them again if you don't understand. But a big book, I just, I don't 
care to read big books. I don't like reading that well, um, which is bad. I should like it, but I don't. But I do like short stories like these. But, I translated right. the, the lesson. I translated it. And I, I, I understand a little bit about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know that much about fighting either. I, I don't know that much about the language and stuff. So yeah. at least I knew a little bit about her, what a bout was and, and what a rink was. and But I just don't know that much about fighting. It's I like, don't. Like, like that, that said, uh, it was Miss Beach who urged Rocco. So I thought I said uh, Miss Beach was, it, come on, Rocco, come on, come on, Rocco. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said, what, what happened there? <laughs> she thought he was a good fighter, I guess. I, I don't know. But I hope our next lessons aren't on fighting. I'm tired of fighting. We've had, too many, <laughs> we've had too many lessons on fighting. We need another lesson. So <laughs> I don't think, I think I've read the next one. I don't think it, no, it's not on fighting. So that's good. It's on a father and a son. it's about a father and a son, and it's it's one of those stories I had to read. On uh, in the next, I've already done the next lesson, and I had to read that twice. So I'll warn you, it's a little bit hard to understand the story is. So you might want to read it over twice uh, for lesson eighteen. Okay. okay, here's some compound words. Uh, you're going to make the compound words from list A and list B. Um, and then you're going to use them in the mm. sentences over to the right hand side. Have you done these or do you need to work on them? We need to work on them. We need to work on them. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'll give you a few minutes because uh, to me, this is a little bit harder because you've got to make the word up and then you've got to put it in the sentence. And if you, I have to read the sentence first and then go over and try to make up the word. So. I'll give you a few minutes to work on that. Okay. It's eight o'clock, so I'll give you about six minutes to work on that, six or seven minutes, and then we'll go over that, and then we'll have to finish the other. We might have time to do part of it.
Hmm. I give up. You give up. <laughs> <laughs> they are hard. They yeah. they are hard. Okay, we need to work on them together. Well, I'll, let's mm. see. Let's, I'll give you one more minute. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said I'd give you six, six or seven. Give you I'm trying minute. to put together, then I put in the sentence, but no work for me either. <laughs> that, that didn't work for me either. I had to end up reading the sentence and try to find <laughs> words that would go in the sentence. It's, it's very hard. Oh, I, I only where... have Candy Moon, Rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out what words. But are. it don't make a sound for me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. All right. I'll give you another minute. Okay. We'll go over them. Well, well. <laughs> Okay, let's look and see what we got. Let's look at our sentences. Let's read the sentence with the blanks and then go back and see if we can make up a, a word to fill in those blanks. So, okay. <laughs> uh, Sonia, you want to read the first sentence? Yes. As uh, he walked nervously up the aisle with his new bride, the groom hoped that some, I don't know, I put some, she could understand that they just couldn't afford. I don't know. I only have some, but I don't know, say some what? Some house, some care, say some. Somehow, I think you said it, somehow. Somehow? Uh huh. That somehow she would understand that they just couldn't afford the for some okay she we could understand that they just couldn't afford the the what does a bride and groom have right after they get married? Mm, honeymoon. Honeymoon, yes. They just couldn't afford the honeymoon right now because he had spent everything he saved for a Rolls Royce, which is a car. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know why he would do that. I'd rather have a honeymoon than a Rolls Royce. So, <laughs> but anyway, okay. So somehow, and honeymoon were those two. All right. Okay, Pedro. Read the next. Uh, Mr. Edwards said, uh, "Blank, no to Carol, first grade teacher, explaining that he had fra fractured." His arm while playing blank and would not be in school the rest of the week. So, Miss mm -hmm. Edwards said a little writing. A, lit, a letter. A little writing? No. No. A handwriting? Handwritten no. note. Yes. Handwritten note. That is correct. Hand and written. Mm. Now, what were they playing? They were playing something and he fractured his arm. Mm, what is this? Oh, okay. Playing. The game. Step. Step, uh, step side. No. Uh, it's a game that you 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 draw it on the sidewalk and you jump around. Uh huh. Jump. Uh, a rattlesnake. No. Uh, it is hot scotch. Hot scotch. Uh -huh. Hot scotch. You know, you draw the. You take your chalk and you draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to ten, and you put so this is, some has two beside them and some has one, and you mm -hmm. jump on the square. Hop, that's hop scotch. Hot scotch. 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 Mm -hmm. Hot scotch. Yeah, that. Let's see. It's one, two, three, four, fifth one from the bottom of the second line. Hop scotch. Hmm. I never played that. You never played that game? <laughs> well, you need to play that game. <laughs> yeah. But don't fracture your arm if you do. So, or let the <laughs> arm, that's what it was. Okay, number three. We're back to Sonia. Um, the coach Claire at the If you can do the second one, and that might give you a hint to the first one. Teamwork? Teamwork is the second one, yes. Second one? <laughs> yeah, you know there isn't a one-man show, and unless you we unless you understand that we can only win this game through teamwork, so they were working as a team, so we know this is a team that's playing some kind of game, and we might as well throw in the towel right now. So it had something to do with the towel. So the coach glared at the, who's a player on a team that you can find up in the A and B. How about a football team? How does that, is that a hint that will help you? The coach glared at the some member of a football team. Quarter back. Quarterback? Quarterback. Quarterback of the football team. The coach glared at the quarterback. 
quarterback. Quarterback. Mm-hmm. Things were hard. <laughs> I never hear about about the quarterback. Oh, you don't do football? No. I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. I just knew that there was a quarterback on a football team. That's all I know. I don't know the other people on there. I just know that the the quarterback's the one that throws the ball to the people to run and, and but I don't know who all the other people are. <laughs> okay, number four. Back to Pedro. Uh, to escape the dirt and grind of the city street, the Oslon decides to go for a drive, but she blank covered with barrels and tries to throw their here and there by blank totally disgusted them as well. Okay. Okay, that's uh first one. Mm-hmm. They they were going back for a drive they- evidently not on the the city they weren't in the city they lived in the city, and they said the dirt and grime was bad, so they decided to go somewhere else for a drive. So where might they be? The they country, the... country. Yes. Countryside. Countryside. Yes, that is correct. I covered it with barrels and trash throw there and here and there by bye 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 bye. Who throws out what do you call somebody that throws out trash on the countryside? Litter. 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 That part's right. Litter. Bugs? Bugs, yeah, litter bugs. They're called litter bugs. If you throw paper out on the, or bottles or whatever, out the, your window to get rid of them, you're called a litter bug. Really? Yeah. You never heard, uh, is that no. something y'all don't have in, in Mexico? You don't have litter bugs? No. We have a lot of. <laughs> you have a lot of trash, but not litter. <laughs> no, but no litter bug. Yeah, these are called litter bugs because the trash is called litter. Uh-huh. And I, I don't know why they call it bugs. I guess cause bugs because bugs are fine. Gonna, because flies. Yeah, they put flies out. When, <laughs> I guess I don't know. I, 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 I Mexico said little rats. <laughs> little rats. <laughs> little rats. That sounds like- better. I like little rats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number five. While waiting for the to whistle, Grandpa climbed there to get a jar of grandma's strawberry jam from the top shelf of the pantry. Hmm. Okay. They must be going to eat something. Ticaro? Tea kettle, yes, that is correct. What? The tea kettle. Tea, tea kettle. kettle. T E A T and then kettle in the second line, K E T T L E. It's a tea kettle. Tea it's kettles, cool. you put water in them and a lot of them will whistle. They have a little thing on them. And when the steam starts coming out the top, it makes it whistle. Es la Do you say quick kettle? Quick kettle. Tea kettle. Tea kettle. Tea kettle. Oh, tea kettle. T-E-A. Grandpa Klein. Tea kettle, okay. Because you use this hot water to make tea. 
Mm -hmm. uh -huh. pour, it, pour it over your tea bag and you make your cup of tea. Okay. They start a whis whistle. To whistle. Mm -hmm. To whistle. Uh huh. Did you get a whistle? Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> when when okay. the steam builds up, when it starts to boil, and the steam builds up inside, um, the steam comes out the spout of the tea kettle, and it's got a little thing on the end of it that makes it whistle. It's kind of cool. You should get you a tea kettle that whistles. <laughs> um, okay, then he's going to climb up on what to get a yeah. jar of jam? Yeah. What step. Do you step. Yep. Step. Step ladder. Step ladder. ladder. Yes. Mm -hmm. Step ladder. A, a, a small ladder is called a step ladder. It may, mm -hmm. it may only have two steps on it, three steps on it. Okay. okay. With all her mind, Mary was trying to pour her cousin out the blank when the heat of a blank frightened her and she let go of the rope. Um, so my. With all the her might, Mary was trying to pull her cross. Rattle. 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 <laughs> She's doing the second one. What, <laughs> is, what goes and scares you? Rattlesnake. <laughs> yes. Quick. The second one is rattlesnake. Okay, quicksand. When uh, oh, quicksand, quicksand, quick quicksand. Yes, mm -hmm. she was Quick trying sand? to. Mary was trying to pull her cousin out of the quicksand, but then there was a rattlesnake over there that started going and scared her, and she let go of the rope. I guess she's gonna let the sister fall down in the quicksand and get eaten by the rattlesnake i don't know <laughs> yeah mm, they are a little hard <laughs> <laughs> yeah those were very hard i had a hard time with some of those so okay all right it is 8 22 if you'll turn over to page 144, I think we can do part four and then we'll save the so what, rest of what, uh, What's the last answer? Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. Cattle. Rattle. Rattle. Rattlesnake. A rattle? Mm-hmm. Snake. Rattle what? Snake. 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 Es el cascabel. Rattlesnake. Oh. Mm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, we left you behind. Didn't we? <laughs> okay, page 144, top of the page, number four, it says, choose the word in the line that has a different sound than the underlined letters in the first word. Okay. Write it on the line. Now, what I want you to do is I'll let you each and you pronounce each of the words and decide which is pronounced the different sound. There'll be one that will have the different sound of the whatever is underlined. Like in that first, um, in number one, it's the A-I-N. It'll have a different sound. So um, Pedro pronounce the, the number one, all those words. Fontaine. Certain, curtain, mountain, ritman. Okay. What has the different sound? Remain. Remains. Yes, that is correct. So Number we two. have to write down the remains right. on, the, on the line? Yes, you'll write down remains on the line. That's the one that has the different sound. 
Okay, number two, Sonia. Mm. Relief, believe, believe, mm, believe, preview, and relief, preview. Preview, yes, that is correct. Okay, number three. Where, Pedro, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> My barber is there. Oh no. Oh, okay. No signal. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is flower. Bro, 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 bro brownie, flow, brown. and flower pot, flow, bro, brownie, flower, flower, brown. flower. Brown. that next brown. word is brow, brown. it's like your brow, your eyebrow, it's brown. pronounced brow, brow. Brown. Brownie. So brown. brownie is not correct. Brownie oh. is not there. Brownie. Now, no. listen, listen to pronounce. Flower, brown, brown. Brown. brownie, flow, brown. flow, flower, flower. Flower, brown, brownie, flow, flow. Flower, flow. Flower, brown, brownie, flow, flower, pop. flow. Flow. Yes. Flow. Flow is pronounced with a long O. The flower is like an owl sound. Oh, oh yeah. Owl. Flower. 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 Flow. Brownie, flower, pot. The flow. 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 Uh, sometimes you have to get real exaggerated when you say them and say them real. Yeah. It almost sounds funny, but if you exaggerate it, it sounds, uh, the sounds come out better. Okay, number four. Where are we at, Sonia? Yes. Dutch, batch, clutch, crutch, hatch. Cloach. Mm. Is cloach? Cloach? No. Oh. Uh, look at the second word. Pronounce that one again. Dutch. Butch. Okay, it's a name and it's butch. Butch. Oh, okay. Butch. Uh -huh. Like you, but butch. Yeah, it sounds like a you, but butch. So it's but. Dutch, but. butch, clutch, crutch, hutch. But. We butch. 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 But. Okay. Hmm. I think uh, that the pronunciation is a build. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number five. Hydro. Uh, cargo. Uh, Galoshes. Gill. Gross. And jug. I think it. Galoshes, 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 Rough, rough, rugly, toad, rugly. Rugly, no, Co enough, Rough. cuff, round, is round. I think it's toad. You think it's no? Rugly, <coughs> toad, toad, enough, toad. enough. Rough. 
rough. Struggling. <clears throat> Struggling for me. The four one. One, two, three, four. Struggling. No. You're listening for the us. And no. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's uh. O and uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Us. No. Oh. Us oh. is rough. Oh. Oh. Roughly. Tough. Oh. Oh. Last one. Tough. Go. Oh. Go. Cough. Go. Yes, cough sounds like C O F F. It sounds like it's spelled yeah. C O F F. Cough. Enough. Oh. You're listening for the, the sound of. Enough. Rough. Roughly. Tough. All those sound alike. And you go and say cough. Off. Off. Cough sounds like an O sound, a short O sound. So it's cough. <clears throat> These are a little bit hard too because they a lot of them sound very, very close to each other. Okay, number seven. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce loot. 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 Knock. Knock. Noose. Scoop. Toot. Toot. Not. Okay. Loot. Loot. Nook. Noose. Scoop. Toot. Loot, nook, nose. Listen for the sound. Ooh, ooh, loot, loot, nook, noose, scoop, tooth, nook, 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 nook has a U sound. Loot, oot, nook, nook, nook. Look. Noose, scoop, tooth, nook. Nook is the one that sounds different. Nook. 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 Yeah. Loot is loo, oo, oot. And you're going, noose is noose. Scoop, tooth. Nook, 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 nook. So now, now you can hear it. <clears throat> it's like I said, sometimes you have to really exaggerate so you can hear it. Uh, let's see, number eight, Easter. We're looking at the E-A, Easter. Easter. Deedful, dreamy, easy, and feast. Feast. Easter three. You're four. listening for the E sound in mm -hmm. Easter. Easter. Easy. Dreamful. Dreamy. Dream. Beautiful. Easter. Beautiful. Dreamy. Easter. Peaceful. Yes. Okay, what does the EA sound like in, in the second one? Dreadful. Dreadful. Dread, eh, edful. What about the next one? Dreamy. Dreamy. Sounds the long E. The next one? Is. Ease. Be next one? Is beast. Beast. E. Is what is the second one? Dreadful, dread, eh, edful. Mm -hmm. Dreadful. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for E as an Easter, Easter, dreamy, ease, feast, dreadful, eh, ed. Okay. Next one is eager. Another E, E A, eager. Eager. Area. Creaky, weakness, eager, gist, area, creaky, mm, weakness, gist, gist, weak, creak, is this area, 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 uh huh. Mm -hmm. You're listening for the e, like an eager, creaky, weakness, 
yeast area. Okay. One more. Ready. Eh. Eddie. Ready. 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 Okay. Pleasure. And steady and league. Street. League. Yes, league. League is called the long E. The others have the short E, like red eddy, pleasure, tread, unsteady, league. League. Has the long E. That is correct. Sometimes it's hard to hear it unless you just really exaggerate. Yeah. And it, it does help in pronunciation when you exaggerate so, like that sometimes. A lot and Easter is the hard for me to, to get that sound. E Easter? Yeah, that Pick line though. East, Easter line and load line. Yeah. Yeah, it's too hard to, to get them. They're, they're very hard to pronounce and hard to pronounce. But like I said, you and, and probably it's it would be easier, I guess, if I pronounced them and then you choose which one is not, is, is the correct one. But that doesn't give you practice in pronouncing it. But I, if we if we run into it again, I'll pronounce them, let you decide and then let you pronounce each one of them. I don't know what's the easiest way, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next week we will finish uh, chapter seventeen. We'll do uh, part five and part. Well, that's all we like is part five, right? Yeah, part five, yeah. and it's some it's some questions um, that you choose the best answer for the following statements and write it on the lines. Um, so it it not necessarily was something from the story. Some of it is, but some of it's not. So, uh, but you just choose the correct answer, and if they've got uh, A, B, C, and D, and then okay. go ahead and start lesson eighteen, and we'll go into lesson eighteen as much as we can. We'll be doing uh, common word endings again. We'll also be doing some word meanings with synonyms and anonyms. And then we'll do the uh, story. And it's about the, uh, the title of the story is the father. It's about a father and a son and, and kind of what happens during the son's life. So it's a pretty good story, but it's one of those you might have to read twice. If I had to read it twice. <laughs> okay, me too. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a little bit hard for me to understand it the, the, till I read it the second time, so. That's what we will do, and I will see you next week at 6.30. Same All right. Place, okay? All right. Y'all right. have a good night, and we will see you next week. And stay safe and stay dry. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank All right. You. Bye, Bye. Bye.